We're hoping that we find some big ramps either tonight or, or soon. We're in the right place. We're up, up good and high. Good, good vantage point here. So, good morning. Yesterday we uh, spent the day picking up this drainage and went up to the very, very top and looked down the other side. But uh, we didn't see anything, so we're uh, trying to figure out a new game plan. We're uh, gonna have to figure something out because we're not seeing our big grams that we're on day six of our sheep hunt. Sun's coming out a little bit. It rained quite a bit last night, but it's dried up this morning. Try to find our sheep. Let's see what we can find. Brian, <laughs> bagged a ram. Just walking up on him now. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, look at doodle. Oh, look at that old ancient warrior. Whew. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's at least nine. Well, here we are back at the tent. We got the ram all done up here. He's sitting next to us here. We got a mountain house sitting in the bag. And we are living, living large. Living broomed. <laughs> Check out this bad boy. Here's some nasty growth rings there. There's the second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and there might be a tenth one tucked in there too, but we're calling them nine for now. But anyways, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. way to go, James. <laughs> <laughs> Hard That's to believe awesome. it all came together. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not too many moments like this. But anyways, thanks Brian for all your hard work. You're very welcome, James. I'm uh, very privileged to, to share this experience with you for sure. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, this has been good. So, I guess it's Saturday, day seven of our hunt, and we got we got a ram down. Mighty Broomers in camp tonight, or last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was what, like three in the morning or something like that. You're like, make sure your ram's still there. <laughs> yeah. I heard some rustling outside. Heard some rustling, so yeah. 
didn't want uh, something dragging this guy off. Yeah, we spotted these, uh, I guess there was nine, right? Yeah. Nine of them all together. And then we had to watch them for how many hours? Yeah, and we were up there watching them, and, and uh, the whole group was a little lower down in the valley here than where we are now. But over the course of the afternoon, a few of the bigger ones were moving up the valley, and there was about three or four smaller ones that kind of stayed lower down. Yeah, so three, I think. There was three, right? Yeah. So we were we were trapped. We couldn't couldn't go after these guys because we were sure those smaller ones were gonna were gonna bust us. So uh, we just held tight. We sat up there for almost till four, four and a half to five hours we sat yeah. there. We sat there for a good part of the day just watching kind of hoping kind of seeing what they were going to do and uh, sure enough I guess it was around later in the afternoon. Just, just before five o'clock we yeah. left. We left, we left up top there because the rams were all starting to head up this valley and so we thought now's our chance. So we, we knew the spot where, where they kind of had all gathered into and we took a few of this valley so we could recognize the landmarks as we went and, and uh, dropped our packs at probably, I don't know, half a mile away. Yeah, halfway back <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so uh, went in on there, went, went from there on just foot and the optics and the rifles and closed into distance and uh, belly crawled for the last little while and peeked over one little hump and we thought, oh, they're going to be right below here. No, nope, they weren't. So we went a little further and kind of keeping paying attention to what was going on. Gathered our courage. <laughs> yeah, gathered our courage. Yeah. <laughs> we were pretty nervous and uh, peeked over the last bump and there was nine rams. Just scads of them. <laughs> just all within, I don't know, they weren't far apart at all. Yeah, there's maybe a 40 yard radius. Yeah. So, but, uh, one funny thing was way back further down as we were hiking up. We uh, were just kind of walking along because it was after we lost our packs. And there was this little you walking probably, I don't know, not even 20 yards away. Yeah. Just walking along beside. She must have passed us on the on the freeway there. <laughs> <laughs> we were going too slow, but she passed us and just kind of let out a little little bleat and she was she was off and we were worried that she was gonna spook those rams or at least alert them that uh, we were on the way, but when we peeked over the hill there, she was with the rest of them, just, yeah. just like she was one of the herd, so that was pretty strange. Hanging out with the boys. Yeah, hanging out with the boys for a day, so. Yeah, so there was this guy in the group. Um, we knew he was going to be legal. We saw he was double broomed from way back on the hill, but there was one other ram that we thought was full curl, and so we were, that was the one we were trying to get Brian. And uh, so we, yeah, we were up at about 150 yards, and yeah, pretty much exactly. And uh, we were, I was ready to go with this guy, and we're just trying to age Brian's, or you know, trying to make sure Brian's ram is legal. Couldn't quite put eight years on him. No, I don't Dude, think there was think, eight yeah, years. There was, there was, for sure seven and a half. Um, but uh, in towards his bases, he had some pretty good, good spaces all along still. So yeah, and he was a little out. bit thin in the horns. Yeah. It was nip and yeah. tuck. It was, we were 80 to 95 percent sure he was making it, but we just couldn't uh, just couldn't do squeeze it. Squeeze it off. So, so we we probably waited for I don't know, it must have been 45 minutes trying to trying to legal make that yeah. one legal. Yeah, just couldn't do it. And so Brian finally gave me the go ahead to blast this guy. And so we dropped him, and uh, all the other sheep just kind of jumped a bit and just kept on going like nothing had happened. They kind of looked over at this old this old guy. I think he was kind of the leader of the band. And they just kind of thought, oh, whatever, and kept on doing their thing almost. Yeah. And uh, and so we had another chance for probably almost an hour. And we were still 150 yards away to try to try to age that. Or Second to, guess our yeah, previous decision. Yeah, looked over that ram again. And uh, he just never really gave us a good angle. Um, and so we, we were like, man, and it's starting to get dark. We're like, man, we gotta, we gotta make them move around, yeah. make, them, make them dance for us. And so we started throwing rocks over yeah. and started howling like wolves. And you were calling like a loon. <laughs> I made a loon call. <laughs> we were, and you yelled a couple I, times. I finally stood up on the hill there, yeah. just right out in plain view, and that got them going. Yeah. So, yeah, they didn't really, well, I guess we, yeah, looked again for a good while, but uh, just, couldn't, couldn't 
Could the Mary Pierce if he's full curl or not? He was no more than maybe a half inch at the most. Either way. Yeah, he, he was right on the tipping point yeah, there. Right on the right on the edge. So, but I think Brian made a good decision with it being a seven-year-old ram and a little bit thin in the horns and wide yeah. spaces. It's, yeah. it's not a was fully the, mature ram quite yet. So. It was the safe bet, eh? Yeah, anyways, we got a long pack ahead of us. It's gonna be uh, a lot of work to get this guy out, but. Yeah, I'd I say two to three days yeah, hauling uh, this sweetie out of here. I don't know how many miles we're, we're away from where we got to be, but it's yeah. the ways. Back, back <laughs> at the Granite Chalet. Yeah. <laughs>